Welcome back. What we're going to tackle next is the Job Durations tab. And within that, we're going to set up the start and end month. We'll kick this off by setting up the data validation here. And what that data validation is going to say is, is this a date? Is this a valid date? Now, this makes everything easier because we can just pick, say, the 1st of February and we'll pick the 1st of March. We're going to make up some company and we're going to make up a fake job. Now, you're going to put in your real companies and real jobs and then you've got start month and end month. With this, we're dealing with months. We're not going to get down to the day. We're not going to get down to the week. So with that format, we can go into format number and I don't have one already pulled up here. So we've got to go in and do custom date and time. Now you can see here what the different available options are, but what we really want to look for if we scroll down is likely going to be not there. So let's delete all of this and we're going to select month and then you can pick August, you can pick A, you can pick a short form, however you want it to look. So I'm going to pick the full word and year and we're going to do full numeric year just because it will make life a little bit easier and we'll hit apply. Oh gosh. Silly me, you'll notice that those are very squished together. So we're going to modify that ever so slightly. So if we go to custom date and time, jump in here, and we'll add a comma space in there and hit apply. So now you can see February comma space year. Perfect. Now we want to figure out how many months in between there. So we use the date diff option before. So we're going to use the date diff option now we are going to do equals date diff and then the start date was February 2023 comma and then the end date is going to be March and then comma and the unit this time will be months and we're going to close that out. So we've got one month there and we're going to do the duration in years. Now I always hate doing this math because I always end up screwing it up. So this is going to be a very simple sum formula. A sum is where you can put any math. You could theoretically do a uh, divide formula and that would work just as well. So you've got the dividend, which would be one and the divisor, which would be 12, or you could just do sum and then write it out. So we're gonna do value one, which is duration in months divided by, and we know that there's 12 months in a year and close that out. Now this ends up with 0 0.0833333. So we're going to format that. Actually, the two things that we're going to do, we're going to grab duration in months and duration in years, and we're going to pull those formulas all the way down. They should show up as zero because you're dividing nothing by nothing. Next here, we're going to shrink this down and remove the decimal points until we get to there. We only need 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, whatever it happens to be. So we only need one decimal place there. Now let's say that we shifted this. We want to go back all the way to let's say September, 2021. Now we've got 18 months in total and it turns into a year and a half. So we know that it's working. Now that's the end of this formula and this video. We'll see you in the next video. Like, and subscribe if you learned something. And remember, anything worth doing well is worth doing badly first.